Nebraska's Big Rodeo begins its four-day run this evening in Burwell, the outdoor rodeo capital of Nebraska. Board President Jess Helgoff joining us now for more on everything that's planned. Jess, the Grand Marshal for Nebraska's Big Rodeo in Nebraska is volleyball coach John Cook. How did that all come together, and what role will he play? It all come together back when UNL had their rodeo banquet in the winter. Travis Shot, our announcer, and I was sitting together. He was saying, hey, you know, I've been talking to Coach Cook about seeing if he was interested in being the Grand Marshal for a rodeo. I think he's pretty interested. He's in Arizona right now looking for a horse. He really wants to find a good roping horse. And I told him, my cousin Denise Ray and her husband Mark have Ray Quarter horses. Some of the best roping horses in the state of Nebraska, if not the best, between him and Pitzers. And I gave Travis Mark's number, and it's been a very good thing for this area up here, Burwell, Erickson, Ord area. Coach has spent a lot of time up here at the Pitzer Ranch. And one Sunday afternoon there, early spring, I went over there when he was roping, and I asked him, I said, Coach Cook, would you like to be Nebraska's Big Rodeo Grand Marshal this year? And he said, absolutely. This year, rodeo fans will find a brand-new grandstand at Nebraska's Big Rodeo in Burwell. Just did I hear correctly on some comparisons to Memorial Stadium, and just how does this improve the viewing experience? Yes, it is. It's kind of funny. Some people do pull in and actually compare this to uh, Memorial Stadium and actually call it Memorial Stadium North. It's precast, which is the concrete kind of foundation for the seats, just like Memorial Stadium. So you'll kind of walk up concrete. The aluminum bleachers are bolted to the concrete. There's just way more room. You're not putting knees in your neighbor's back. It's going to be comfortable. The view is awesome. Not only is the north side new, but we have new over on the east side. There's 800-plus seats on the east side of aluminum bleachers that we had gotten through a different grant that we actually applied for before the storm damage started on the north side. So we have a whole new east side over there for the dance pavilion, and it's just going to be an awesome place to sit. There's really not a bad seat in the house. Just what kind of rodeo competition can we plan to see at Nebraska's Big Rodeo in Burwell? Well, we got some pretty good competition this year, um, especially in, in the timed event. There are numerous top 15 calf ropers, steer wrestlers, steer ropers, barrel racers. We got guys like Jess Pope and Creek Young and Riggin Shippy from South Dakota. He's a young upcoming bull rider. And we got Trey Kimsey in the bull riding. Our stock contractor, Butler and Sons, they said that our entries were pretty darn good for being a medium-sized rodeo. Butlers were really, really happy with our entries. Talking right now with Jess Helgoth, the board president for Nebraska's Big Rodeo in the outdoor rodeo capital of Nebraska in Burwell, discussing what's all planned for the 103rd run that begins this evening. Just there's more than just rodeo action at Nebraska's Big Rodeo this evening through Saturday in Burwell. You can plan on finding lots of additional entertainment options. Just talk about those more popular events, including the carnival. Yeah, we have a carnival this year, jam-packed midway. We got the 4-H shows. If you're into the 4-H shows and rodeo, this is the place to come this week because we have it all, and we have the Indian relay races coming back. Chuck wagons aren't going to be here again this year, unfortunately. We're hoping maybe in the next couple of years we can work out a deal with them. With Dinner Bell Derby, the famous wild horse race in Burwell, and that thing is going to be wild and wooly as ever. And we got trick riders back. We're just four days packed full of excitement up here, and don't forget the parade, 10 o'clock Saturday morning. Jess, is there also some after-rodeo entertainment planned for Nebraska's Big Rodeo? Yes, there is. Four nights of it. Wednesday night is going to be our clown, Robbie Hodges. He actually has a band down in Alabama that he kind of does on a sidekick when he's not being the barrel man. He's going to be Wednesday night for just a little bit after the rodeo. He'll go till midnight on Wednesday. Borderline plays over there on the east side on Thursday night. Friday night is Pioneer Band, and Saturday night is Luke Mills. So we have Four nights of some pretty darn good entertainment after the rodeo. 
Thanks, Jess, for joining us. That's Board President Jess Helgoth previewing the events of the 103rd Nebraska's Big Rodeo in Burwell, the outdoor rodeo capital of Nebraska. For that complete schedule of events that begin this evening, you could go to nebraskasbigrodeo.com. Again, that web address, nebraskasbigrodeo.com. I'm Paul Perkins on the Rural Radio Network.